What's up guys, today of course I wanted to sort of give a live commentary breakdown so to speak of the scout class in Battlefield 1 and of course it's early in the games, very early in the game's life cycle. I'm still going through the trials and figuring it out but I think I've got a pretty good handle on it thus far. It's just figuring out the mini points as you, you know, continually play the game. But for scout what I've seen is, well I'll start with the weapons and I'll break down the rest so let's we'll start and customize. What I usually like doing, my I do I don't mind the Russian 1895 sniper. It's not too bad. There's nothing really wrong with it. It just it's more of a middleman weapon. Uh, the Gewehr 98 sniper probably my favorite weapon in the game. Marksman 2, I suppose. It's just snipers the variant I happen to have unlocked at the time. It's I I really I think it's one of the better weapons in the game bar none. You could easily adjust between aggressive, in, intermediate, and longer range sniping with relative ease, and there wouldn't be any concern switching it up. Uh, the SMLE Marksman I really like for sort of close-ish intermediate sniping. It's one of my favorites, especially for more aggressive sniping, although aggressive recon in close. Uh, the M95 Marksman, the Gewehr, uh, that one by far my favorite. You can just the bolt cycling speed and the reload speed is so fast on the thing it's it's pretty much geared especially with that damage model of uh, 90 or so inside of close range and then it slowly drops off so you might need to switch quick switch quick to a pistol to finish the job but that's one of my favorites uh, the one I have equipped right now because I was doing some longer 100 plus because you can see the damage model goes from about 100 to 150 on the one shots um, is the M1903, which it's very good on its own. Um, M1903 I usually have because it's longer range. I usually equip the 8x magnification. I usually include a bayonet on my sniper rifles because as much as the bayonet will slow down the time it takes you to actually like pull up the scope and look in, uh, it you still have that chance to bayonet charge someone if they catch you out of position. So it's 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 an even trade off. I'd say it's not a huge concern. Uh, I've always liked the cross reticle, so I won't be changing that. I have it on all my rifles. So let me let me go back here, uh, and I'll show you the Gewehr. The Gewehr I usually go with the four times. You can go all the way down to two, but I like having the four just because I can transition between short and close or short and sort of mediumish range sniping. And the four times I think does a better job of that than the two times would. Uh, the Gewehr, same thing. I usually like either the five times or the eight times on it, depending on the sniping. But I've usually I've sort of separated the Gewehr and um, the M1903. The M1903 I usually use exclusively for longer range sniping, and the Gewehr I usually use for sort of intermediate and aggressive. And then it can also be used for longer range versus the M95 at longer range that you absolutely have to hit a headshot on, which isn't a problem. I, Anyone who's been around my channel knows Battlefield 4s was very unforgiving, and I had no trouble with that. It's I just like uh, the Gewehr because of the much higher bullet velocity, uh, more so than the others. The Russian 1895 is still fun to play with, but I feel these ones outrank it. And of course, everyone's favorite, the Martini Henri. I usually just equip a two times magnification. I like the radium sight, and again the barrel. Uh, that one there, 30 to 80 meters chest shot and above because the multiplier is one for the chest and 1.8 or 1.9 for the head so as long as you're hitting head shots or chest shots in that 30 to 80 meter range one shot kill no problem that's lots of fun in terms of sidearms of course uh m the m1911 uh the hellfighter version in that too probably my favorite i i still haven't unlocked them all as you see i haven't tried them all out but i really doubt I'll be replacing it anytime soon unless I see someone else's footage of someone really dominating with a pistol. I really thoroughly enjoy it. And even if you look at the damage models, uh, most of them accuracy doesn't really increase a ton except for the Mars automatic. But I just, the recoil feels weird, at least for me trying it out. I wasn't a big fan of it the first time I tried it. That might change because, of course, it's a sort of preliminary look. In terms of equipment, I'll discuss it in my tutorial if I. If I release that first, or if not, here's where it is. I, of course, always choose the spot. This is going to help you and your team out more than they could ever know. Uh, K rounds, nice for taking out hero classes, nice for taking out sort of, or keeping tanks sort of on edge. You can maybe take out the tracks if they're already taking damage. 
Sniper Shield, I don't use it. It's very situational. Uh, I, I like staying mobile, so Shield sort of slows me down. Decoy again, situational. Might be fun to use if you're sitting in a trench, but I, I find most smart enemies will see the... You can see in the description here on the side as they give you the preview, they, they'll see the stick. It's sort of useless now, so... Uh, and again, you can use tripwires if you plan on holding down a particular area, especially the the HE round. Look at the, like here's the example of it when the guy actually sets it down. Watch the explosion; it's huge. Uh, but that's more so if you're looking to really hold down an area, not so much if you're mobile. So I don't really use it that much. Uh, again, gadget two. I usually use the periscope because uh, even if I'm playing aggressively, I can see like this if someone's shooting at me i can look over see exactly where he is pop up headshot bang grenades again same deal um fragmentation grenades are good if you know you're going to be you have some guys on the roof and you want to blow them off the roof gas are good to sort of flush things out and maybe keep an mcom because a lot of the time if you're arming an mcom you throw gas on it people either forget to put their mask on and choke out or they flat out just um, when they go to second, when they like put on the mask, you can only shoot hip fire in the mask. So you mow them down because most people are going to be inaccurate with it. Uh, the impact in the minis, I haven't tried all that much. I do like the incendiary grenade for MCOMs too. You just toss it on it. It can backfire at times though, because if they defuse the MCOM and you want to jump back on to try and do it again, if the fire is still there, you're going to get caught on fire. So use it with caution. Uh, and smoke's good if you want to try and obscure your view, but I usually like the gas and incendiary because you have the damage output at the same time. And melee, like I've talked about in the tutorial, the tutorial if, it, if I haven't got to it yet, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video first. Uh, keep an eye on these off to the side here. If I can get it highlighted. These, when they're highlighted, like if you look at the hatchet, you can break wire and you can break wood. Uh, it doesn't damage light vehicles. Try and pick something that gives you some versatility versus, say, the club that gives you nothing. But it does increase uh, damage on the melee, so that's up to you. Melee is more subjective. It's not sort of mandatory like the above. And that's my class breakdown for Recon today. I'll be doing it for the other classes once I actually start getting some better unlocks for them as well. Like the video again, same as usual. Give it a like. Subscribe if you want to stick around. Share it social media. Have a good one, guys.